Well, you really got a sense there of the edginess, the nerves, the adrenaline on the start line. One of the best places to go and watch the racing from if you're visiting Henley Raw Regattas. But they're off and going now, and the tension, Sarah, will just be easing a little bit as they uh, get past Temple Island, although actually for Nottingham Rowing Club, who have drifted right into the middle of the course, early umpire trying to push them back right. They've uh, got a bit of an issue early on in the race. Yes, they've certainly blasted out to uh, a bit of a lead already, which is why we haven't seen a clash of oars there, because they were certainly uh, over the path of the Lady, Lady Elizabeth Boat Club from Ireland. So, uh, of course, these boats, it's the club men's coxless four. So we saw the eights beforehand with the coxswain who controls the steering. But usually it's the stroke man in these boats who controls the steering with his foot. And that's why we can see uh, they're really both starting to struggle there with a bit of their steering. And it's an incredibly difficult thing to do. Of course, if you're sitting in the stroke seat, uh, not only are you going backwards, but you have three people behind you to try and look around if you do want to try and get uh, a bit of a gauge on where you're pointing. So it's a very difficult uh, task to be able to steer and row. They're picking uh, the markers that they uh, go past to so use those as a gauge try and navigate their way down the course but this has been well it's entertaining if nothing else a uh, way that nottingham rowing club cut twice right across the track of lady elizabeth boat club from ireland they're uh, saving grace with the fact that they had clear water otherwise they've just seen a spectacular collision i think yes it's what it's all about though isn't it <laughs> i know i know i was extremely nervous about racing within those booms for the first time because if you hit those those are hard booms you can uh, you know, if it's bad, you can break an oar or break some equipment. So um, certainly the crews are nervous and want to stay away from those. But at the same time, you can't encroach on the other crew and cut another crew off. Uh, so it can be a very difficult thing when you don't have a coxswain uh, for the stroke man to try and uh, calm themselves, steer in a straight line and keep thinking about their rhythm and the way that they're rowing and not get too overwhelmed with the task of steering the boat. If you're just joining us, we have seen one crew clatter into the boom, uh, Tyrion on the uh, Buck Station earlier on in their heat. They actually overcame Marlow. It was a terrific effort. Showed lots of character in the Y-fold earlier on in the card. But having clattered into the boom, lost all their momentum, picked themselves back up and beat Marlow. That's uh, no shortage of entertainment in that race. What about this one? Well, Nottingham Rowing Club seem to be uh, in the lead. Lady Elizabeth Boat Club from over from Ireland. They've settled down a bit now, haven't they, as the race has progressed. They've, uh, it gets easier as the, as the course gets straighter and they have settled down into a nice rhythm uh, against the Irish here, Nottingham Rowing Club. Yes, both crews looking uh, quite calm now. We see that Nottingham Rowing Club A has the advantage at this stage, but I wouldn't discount uh, Lady Elizabeth Boat Club just yet. We've still got quite a way to go and anything can happen. Uh, as you said, we've uh, seen some, some pretty interesting uh, things happen so far this morning, but uh, we can see the Lady Elizabeth Boat Club drifting back over towards Nottingham again, but Nottingham now getting the look back on their competitors. They have a clear water lead and they're looking very strong. Of course, they reached uh, the Friday in the Britannia Challenge Cup at Henley in 2014 and won this event, the Wyfold uh, Challenge Cup in 2012. So uh, no strangers to this course and success at the Henley Regatta. Fabulously informative pictures, aren't they? This is the first time we've had these uh, images from a Henley Raw Regatta, and it puts a whole new complexion on races, doesn't it? It gives you a much better vantage of how races unfold. It's fantastic, and I know that we have people viewing back home in Australia, uh, watching these races with great interest, a number of Australian and international crews competing here. So hello to everyone in Australia who is joining us this morning uh, for the Henley Royal Regatta. No doubt you will be enjoying seeing these images live and uh, what fantastic views we have. Not only is it great for the spectators, but it's good for the rowers. These, many of these athletes will be able to go back and watch these races and uh, be able to critique their technique and their race plans and how everything's unfolded uh, to prepare for the next uh, regatta or the next race. Well, we've got more action as the boats come very close now. They get close to a collision. Nottingham Rowing Club and Lady Elizabeth Boat Club. Look at that. They're uh, right uh, close to each other. They have the lead, Nottingham, and that's uh, avoiding any collisions, but they'll be having to soak up all the choppy water behind, won't they, Lady Elizabeth Boat Club? And yes, a future 
opponent in later rounds will be watching these boats with interest and you can get a bit of an insight as to what future opponents might be doing, their race strategies. That's right. I, I would think that many of the uh, crews who are contending some of these events uh, might be staying uh, out of the heat and probably at home and, and possibly watching these races live or will watch them to dissect them later on to know what they're coming up against and get a bit of an idea about strategy and, and what their competition might look like, which is something that we've not been able to do before. So it's a fantastic vision we can see there of the crews racing as they come down and Nottingham Rowing Club A looking very strong, very composed at this stage over their competitors, Lady Elizabeth Boat Club. Yeah, several lengths the uh, margin for Nottingham Rowing Club. You saw there the uh, bow seat and there again Alex Evangelis, Kenneth Gray, John Ockham and the stroke Alex Watkins. They reached a Friday in the Britannia Challenge Cup last year at Henley, Nottingham Rowing Club. They won the Whitefold back in uh, 2012. So good experiences of Henry Raw Regatta's gone past. And a good start to this one as well. 2015, Nottingham Rowing Club. And Nottingham Rowing Club is a strong performance centre for men and women. And uh, they've struggled to produce a crew of the calibre of their 2012 winning crew uh, in the past few years. But we could be looking at a class act here from Nottingham Rowing Club A who look... Uh, like they're doing it almost easily at this stage. Uh, nice long strokes there. Picking yeah. up the water very calmly and efficiently. Harder work for the uh, Lady Elizabeth Boat Club, looking a bit ragged in the final stages of this one. Dublin University Alumni Boat Club. This is the uh, Lady Elizabeth Boat Club, I'm wondering where they're from, all through Dublin University in the years gone by. Finding it hard work, the Irish out there on the water at the moment. Nice strong finishes there from the Nottingham Rowing Club A crew. Really sending the boat away with every stroke. Very strong performance. It'll be interesting to see how they step up in the next round. Yeah, the next round of the Wifold, which is where Nottingham Rowing Club will find themselves as they go past the stewards' enclosure. Comfortable lead over Lady Elizabeth Boat Club from Ireland. You can see the sweat gleaming off the back of the rowers there as the sun becomes more and more ferocious. Well done to Nottingham Rowing Club through safely in the first round of the Wifold against Lady Elizabeth Boat Club, who crossed the line now. In front of the judges' box, you can see there. Celebrations, no doubt, for Nottingham will be curtailed with a few to good progress through the second round coming up in the next few days.